I got her. I got her. Come on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. I know you're not ready, but I'm going to try to get you. Come here. Come here. Oh, 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 there's number five. There's number five. Okay, let's go. Let's go. There's another one up there. There's two more. The two, we need these other two fish, and we got this thing. Come on. Come on. All right, folks. We are wrapping up stop number four of the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals on Lake of the Ozarks. John Cox, the man, the myth, the legend, got it done. Keith also came really close. Did impressive things. <laughs> um, what was it like, man? Oh, gosh. I, I feel like it was a dream. This is something I thought of, you know, going back to when we were kids, you know, riding our bikes down to Gemini Springs and fishing was like, you know, one day in a major, you know, event, you know, we were going to get first and second. Uh, and, you know, it's just crazy that it actually, it actually it happened. happened. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And hopefully it's not the last. <laughs> yeah, hopefully yeah. not the last. Yeah, I mean, you guys are bringing a lot of money back to DeBerry. That's key. And uh, also, we have possibly the most sight fishing expertise we've ever had for a day five <laughs> in the boat. So uh, can we go out there and, like, teach me a few things? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a blast. I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. All right. To the light. On the water we got the boats in and uh we're gonna start the looking process i believe right this is pretty ballpark where you guys are catching them yeah yeah we were catching them right in this general area all these creeks are full of fish yeah, yeah. pretty much anywhere the water's clear and you can see them uh we were moving around i mean i was moving around a lot uh you know this whole place so many fish and you know we would see so many small ones which is probably what we're going to see but then occasionally you see that you know that one. three yeah. to six pounder so right. and that's a key fish yeah those oh, yeah. are the ones you're yeah. looking for so yeah. so yeah so let's go let's we'll go right over there in the uh and start looking at some of these calmer pockets and see if we can't right. see some john we're pretty much going around every dock and then looking behind both sides like you're looking everywhere right yeah i mean that that's what i did mostly uh you know Anywhere you decided not to look or squeeze in between, yeah, you could pretty much guarantee go back, and that's there There'd was a be fish one there. there. <laughs> yeah. And now you know two or three of my key fish I passed, and uh, I did. I, I wasn't going to fish that area. It was just a you know, super tight little area, and I was like, I better look there, you know, or yep. I better go around two more docks. And and those were some of the fish I ended up catching, which is just unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know if it was nice. like that for you oh, or yeah. All my big ones were places I could barely fit the boat. Right. Like it was places no one else looked. Right. Because they you know, either they didn't want to damage their boat or they didn't want to put in the effort to get in those tight spots. Do you think the fish know or those are just the fish that are randomly left? I think these fish know. <laughs> they want to be in the most protected yeah. area yeah. under as many cables as they can possibly be under. They and do then, seem to bend where it's like it's some of them are look impossible, impossible to catch, you know, because yeah, they're yeah. you know so many so far back in yeah. there, you know, they're just not getting fished for, you know. Yeah. Okay. Except by you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's pretty much what you do. You'd come in. Um, a, a huge thing I would do is I, I would come in kind of quick um, because I wanted to see some kind of movement. You know, I was really struggling to see them sitting there because a lot of them would sit still. So I'd kind of come in quick. You almost wanted to spook them? Yeah, I, I'd yeah. want to make a lot of noise and, and try to get some kind of movement out of the fish because otherwise you go right by them and you wouldn't see them. Right. Yeah. yeah. When they're locked on a bed, those are the hardest fish to see. The fish that sit on a bed and never move, I miss them. You want to spook them. You want to scare them, and then and, and you know, and then figure out where they were sitting. Is that a bass? Yeah, I think so. It was a bass. Where are you looking? Right there. That bed right there. Yeah. John said he can't see him deep. <laughs> I can see that one. What do we oh, got back here? Oh, here, oh, here we go. Here That'd we. That'd be kind of fun oh, to catch yeah. him. Oh yeah. Boy, he right is there. really small. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so much bigger than we yeah. the other one, one on the other side might be bigger you guys you know grew up fishing team tournaments together have you ever been able to double sight fish before or usually in florida was it just one at a time we've done two 
two before, I think. Oh yeah, so the yeah the one most memorable one to me uh, was when we won the Wolfson tournament, uh, and we ran yeah. like ninety something miles. It was like this tournament, four hundred fifty boats. It's for the Children's Hospital, and uh, we ran all the way back down to where we live. It was out of Palaka, and uh, the first two we pulled up on, there was two seven pounders next to each other, and I threw to the first one. Ooh. Oh, he almost, almost bit had it. <laughs> I threw to the first one and Keith threw to the one behind us. And when I set the hook, Keith ran up, netted mine. And when uh, we got him in the boat, his rod was going out and he caught that one. We had back back to back seven pounders in the first like five minutes we got there. I think we caught like, what do we have, 33 pounds? Yeah, that was like one of oh the best. We caught it in like 30 minutes yeah. and then we had to get gas like what, four times? Yeah. <laughs> What boat were you running then? Uh, we were in a Crestliner. Oh my gosh. 19 with a 150. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. The gas yeah. tank was not that big. No. <laughs> we got gas on the way down, on the way back, and then on the way back again. Yeah, something like we had that. Like three times. Gosh. Yeah. That, little, that was a great little boat, that 150. Mm -hmm. You told me yesterday, John, that. Keith is the best type fisherman in the world because he's watched you so much and like <laughs> you, he always figures them out before you. Well, so it was almost what? like a Explain lot of times that. we fished, we were like this side by side and we're both visually watching the yeah. fish and Keith would be like, all right, hey, you think we should change it up and, you know, and, and he'd grab another rod or whatever. We'd, and we'd really figure them out together. Um, so, I mean, gosh, I mean, I don't know how many big fish we've caught off the bed in team tournaments, you know, but it's just, uh, it was, it's really, uh, it's really helpful when you have another set of eyes trying to figure out those same fish and, uh, got him. oh, you got oh, him. Baby. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's not as big as I thought he was. Uh, he's a good one though. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> you got a net in here or something or what do we, the... we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Here, they we'll, did it. Here, we'll pass them back to you. All right. Hey, you want me to you. take care of this fish? Take Thank them off you. for you and whatnot? All right. That mine is so Here's ready. That back. Thank Good job, Keith. Thank Great you. work. Oh, right. come on. Check I, it out, boys. They caught one. They're still working on another one. Let's we'll so see if we, we can get, get this fun. other one. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah, there you go. I mean, <laughs> that's what we were talking about. Keith figured it out. Yep. Bam, fishing the boat. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I got oh, my baby! baby. Oh, I still hey. got it! I still yeah. got it! Hey, this hey. is the fun of hey. Mine's a keeper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a spot. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. This guy's been through the mill here. Yeah, he's been caught a couple of times. Yeah. All right. Good job, nice. John. I'm going to put your fish back, too. <laughs> right, thanks, I might good. as well, right? Thanks. <laughs> um, guys, take me through the, uh, the setups this week. Because... You have caught seven million fish off beds. You're probably, I mean, some of the most spinning rod forward bed fishermen that I've ever seen. Like, you know what you're doing. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I don't know about all that, Jody, but. <laughs> okay, but, but I mean, like, but, let's count some trophies yeah, here, but, right? <laughs> but what I found, what I really like um, is, you know, we, we finally, uh, Abu Garcia got with me and we, and we designed this rod. Um, pretty much that's what I wanted a spinning rod that you could handle big fish on you know yeah. a lot of time you hook a fish on a spinning rod and uh, it takes off it you know it you know and you can't get them in uh, and that's what we designed this one it's got a little more backbone than normal but it's still got the soft tip so you can fight the fish um, you know and then and paired up with the xenon reel uh this nice one red butt yeah SD. i mean yeah i mean it, it is uh it's just a, it's it's a perfect setup for catching big fish on spinning rod you know if someone's first time spinning rod, this is the one that they want to get one like this because it, it'll, it'll be more of a, you know, kind of like a all purpose. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, a little heavier duty, more spinning rod. Um, but, you know, most of the week, um, I threw the jerk shad a lot, uh, the power bait jerk shad um, and watermelon seed, uh, watermelon red. I uh, just Texas rig it with a five aught. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I was running a, a 10 pound, 100 percent fluorocarbon leader to uh, uh, eight pound uh, fire line, main line. And uh, man, that, that was, pretty, I kept it simple. And uh, you know, I had three of these rigged up and then three of the other ones, uh, you know, the wackies like, like Keith did. Keith, did you do anything different 
Yeah. Or... Well, I mean, so I, I wasn't planning on spinning rotting as much. Okay. I actually only had two rigged and I had like 10 bait casters rigged because in yep. practice, you know, I'd find fish and as I was trolling by, I'd pitch on them and a lot of them raced off the bed to eat my bait. Wow. And like, you know, they and I was pitching dumb. braid on them all kind. Of, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, man, this is great. And then tournament rolled around, you know, and they just decided to get locked jaw. And so day one, I had two spinner rods. John lent me another one. So then I had three and uh, I did end up catching almost all my fish on the spinner rod. I was throwing the Max Scent General and I had it same, same thing, 10 pound Berkeley, 100% fluorocarbon with the Fusion 19 one knot hook. And I was using six pound Fireline braid as my main There's line. Your wind knots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's why I'm, maybe. yeah, yeah, could be. Could yeah, maybe out. I need to go to eight. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Yeah, but, uh, but no, it's a great setup, great rod, and it gets them, gets them to bite, you know? And like, you didn't, you broke off one fish, I think, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it was a big fish or not with me. Did you guys, like, actually break any fish off this week or pretty much if you hooked them you landed them but somehow i broke off one in a cable on day two and i broke off one in my trolling motor yesterday yeah, <laughs> yeah. i mean it, yeah. it happens yeah. when you're fishing i yeah. mean if you, this place i'll have to say uh this is up in my top two most toughest places to land fish around docks uh up there with lake travis uh you know with all the zebra mussels oh, yeah, on the yeah. dock it was really tough there but this is like this this is number two to that uh, because there's cables everywhere. I mean, there's, yeah. it's not just, you know, two cables you got. I mean, there's, there's three, four cables in some areas. There's all kinds of, they got uh, a lot of bricks and stuff around Yeah, there is a like, lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to fish somewhere where there isn't docks. Right. You know, you have to fish docks <laughs> right. pretty much, you know? So it's like, deal with it, yeah. you know? And it is, it's, it is probably one of the most scary thing, uh, you know, hooking a four or five pound fish. Like, I, I mean, chances of getting them in are very slim. Yeah. with all that stuff and it really has to go your way and uh man it just uh man, what a week <laughs> no doubt about it <laughs> how many fish did you have marked going into this keith because you like actually had a great practice whereas yeah. john you were all over the board yeah i had uh i think i had 101 waypoints and i was really only marking fish three ish and above you know some two and a half you know, I, if they were two pounds, I wasn't even marking them because a lot of, a lot of the two pounders, you don't even know if they're 15 inches really either. Mm. So, um, so, you know, I, I looked at my waypoints, I had 101 and, and then day one, I think I had seven over four, four and a half that I ran to really? and only got three of them. And then, um, yeah, so, you know, and each day I'd find a new one too. So it worked out pretty good. Yep, and I had about four plus the three Keith gave me. Yeah, I gave that three waypoints before the tournament. <laughs> uh, but they were they were crucial. I mean, that's where you know I ended up. Uh, you know, the last day going to those couple Keith yeah. gave me to win the jump to the other side where it was a little calmer. You know, and caught my three bigger ones. And, He's kind of floating around again. Yeah, yeah. He, like he he's, was off he's, two right. feet to the left. Yeah, he's right looking at it now, I think. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Yeah. He was really nosing up. Yeah, he was really curious there for a second. Did they ever eat it, like, out of the bed coming back to you? Or was it always, like, when you were bringing it to them or it was on the bed, like? Um, I, I caught some uh, off the bed. Uh, you know, oh, just getting them right. <laughs> He's gonna eat it this time, right? I we're successful here. May, maybe you should throw a general in on them. I mean, they do work. It seems like. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to that. Mm -hmm. I think that one's got one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try this. We'll let him. I'll, we'll let me miss him one more time, yeah. and then we can. Then we can go to the wacky, right? Yeah. I like. Yeah. I wonder if you. Him, I wonder but... if you pop it by him. Oh, that's his tail, I think. Oh no, that's his head. Yeah. There you go. There we go. I hit his tail. Yeah, that's yeah. what you want to do. Did he get it? It looked like he. I don't think he, he did it. He yeah. really wanted it there. Same, he he yeah. thought about it. Same pit. Crap. <laughs>
moved it. Oh, he moved back. I don't see him. Left. He's looking right at it, though. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey, oh! Oh! Oh, my gosh. He's getting in the Oh, he's boat. bigger than I thought he was. Oh! Yeah, uh, hey, that's a keep. Yeah. You think it's a keeper? That's a hey, keeper. Yeah, well, that's a keeper. Oh! oh. In out. Yeah. Should we check him on the cooler? Yeah, check him on the cooler. <laughs> he's a keeper. All right. I have been wanting to use this cooler to measure a bag. Oh yeah, oh, he's way, he's that. like a 16 something, yeah. Oh. Wow. Beautiful, thank you. Nice, hey. Best coaches in the world. Hey, Bye -bye. good job, awesome yeah. job. Made it happen, yep. look at that. We're doing big things. <laughs> What was this tournament like for you guys on stage the last day? Because John told me that he felt things he'd never felt before at work. <laughs> I, I, that feels like yeah. kind of important. <laughs> I, I mean, I honestly, it was uh, it was like bittersweet. Like I want to win, but like I watch uh, the live when Keith's fishing. Like I, I want Keith to win. Yeah. You know, it's you know, it's you know, having your buddy win. You win know, the tournaments he's won. Uh, it's put me at that same level as when I've won, you know, and uh, it just made me so happy for him. So it was like, you know, when I was watching the weight and it had to be 16.6 or 16.8, like I was okay with, you know, yeah. I was okay with not winning. Like I, I, I you know, so like winning, uh, it felt good and amazing, but it also felt terrible at the same time. Uh, but getting one and two, that's what kind of like, you know, I look at it, you know, I, you know, I only won uh, what, um, Thirty thousand more or something like. I mean, he yeah, still won fifty grand. So like, it's just, he owes me thirty thousand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what What was it like for you, Keith? Did you know how much John had, or did you think that you would have? Like, what What did it feel like? Well, you know, I I didn't I didn't know I I had I, like John said I hoped we had gone one and two whether it was me and Either one way. and him or two, um, and then uh, you know we got back and John's like I maybe got 15 pounds maybe oh, and he had uh almost 18 pounds you know so, uh, so work on the math there yeah, i can't add and, i mean and, but but i did hold his bag when he bagged his fish and i really didn't think he had 17 but yeah. i think the fours were more than fours they were yeah, four right. and a quarters four and a halfs or something and uh yeah so i mean you know it's great you know i always hope for a win but if I'm not winning, I hope John wins. I mean, second place, pretty good, yeah, honestly. I know. Fifty grand, nothing wrong with that's, that. That's uh, you know? that's solid, and yeah. uh, you know, it's a nice trophy, yeah. and you're gonna get it. It'll happen. Sooner it's gonna later. happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I tell you what, guys. Thank you so much for taking me out. Um, congratulations to both of you. I learned a lot about sight fishing, and uh, this is a really good day five. So, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, thanks a bunch. A lot. <laughs> thanks, man.